Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the video uh, to my channel. Haven't uploaded in two weeks. Okay, but today we are trying out something a little bit different. I know, different. It's so sad, and different. But it's not exactly different because, as you can see, my beanie's here. Of course, we're not wearing that today because we're not in a game. And we're not going up against gamers today. We're just wearing. Whoa! Putting the hat back on. <laughs> my my hair's getting like I don't know, Justin Bieber long. I have no idea what's going on here. But today we are reacting. This video was in mind of Boyzard. Like, in the description, great guy. Check him out. But he made some. We're checking out uh that vegan teacher. You may have heard of her. She's a vegan, and I've heard some rumors that she ate meat burgers. But which, in no defense, in her line. I think there are vegan bit burgers out there, <laughs> but in today in today's video, we're going to be going over the key points about why the hell she's forcing other people to be vegan. Which, which is no, it's no problem if you are vegan. It's no problem, honestly. It's it's fine if you are vegan. I have vegan friends, and and out of respect, so they don't have to see I'm eating animals. I go out in an alleyway and eat my and eat my food. So, in out of respect to the vegan pe to my vegan friends, I got an alleyway so they don't have to, you know, see that. But we're gonna be going over the key points of why she uh, about what the hell she's doing because of I mean, boys are he made some fantastic points, and I just wanna you know kind of evaluate on that. So that vegan teacher is vegan, obviously, and she. How can I say this? She forces other people to be vegan. In my in my point of view, I don't think you should be forcing other people to be vegan. You shouldn't be forcing other people to become what they don't want to be. So, and that's really important. If you want people to like you or whatever, you know, just don't 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 persuade them or force them and call them you are not good enough for this planet because you're not vegan. I mean, she goes she goes beyond that. And she goes way, way over the head by saying, "You know, the you know the uh, the LBT, you know the Gay Pride Black Lives Matter." She says, "Forget all that. We got animals out here dying." She she says, "Oh my God, guys, guys, we need to. We who cares about all that stuff? We need to care about veganism. That to me is pathetic and it's wrong and disgusting because it's first of all, people are fighting for their lives out here. These are." In incredibly valuated and important parts of their lives. This is how they live. I mean, she says that, you know, like, she even goes beyond the point of having a banana in her ear and talking to God. She, I mean, I think she's a Christian, which I think she is because she keeps talking about God, like, but I mean, it's no problem if you're a Christian. But she, like, I don't know why, but doesn't she have, like, a telephone? She could literally just ring up a real telephone and say, Hello. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, I, I have no idea. Yeah. Instead of holding up a banana against her and talking to him. Bit weird if you ask me. But, you know, I'm just going to go over the key points. And, you know, we're going to only w watching seconds of our clips just to prove my points. And really, just, uh, you know, evaluate about why she's being such a douchebag. Because she forces people. We know that. She... She does everything, basically. Anything that is your worst fear, she'll do. She's gonna say that if you're not... Do, do you know what? Actually, no. I just remembered something uh, that she says in... I think it was her TikTok or something. I hate TikTok. It's so cringe. But so, for some people, it's alright. I mean, it's alright, but just I just don't really like it. It's only a million, in my opinion. But she goes... Um, <clears throat> she goes as far as to say that everybody who's fighting for the rights like you know Black Lives Matter, Gay Pride and you know feminism and everything like that, that she says they should all be vegan all of them should not they could should be vegan and to me that's just that's just wrong don't get out of my life I mean it's like it's like saying hello you 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 should be vegan so should be vegan do you know what? she even plays the ukulele she plays the ukulele. Why is everybody, you know, every single time there's like a protest or anything, like, not like you know, like people things like for the bad, for the bad, you know, like bad things, and that you know she she's on she's on things like that, and she she plays the ukulele, which is fine. That's fine. That's fine by me. 
Why can't there be a drummer in these protests? Why can't there be, why can't there be like a rock singer? They're all ukulele. Change your game up a little bit. Just a little bit. It's like a, it's like a tiny, tiny. But today, that vegan teacher, uh, boys has already made a video. We've already talked about that. And, um, she's made quite a lot of response videos. I'm just going to type her name up that vegan teacher. She, I've seen her grow up from 15,000 subscribers to 23.8 thousand subscribers. She's gone, did you paint your jeans yet? Why? Are you vegan yet? Love heart. Yes, Pancho, I ate meat. I think that's vegan. I'm not sure. I haven't checked out the full of that video. But I love how we have COVID. First of all, you spelled it wrong. You spelled it with a K. Apparently, according to her, veganism is bad. No, no, it's not. No, sorry. Veganism is bad. No, no. According to her, everybody should be vegan. Every She says, she's gone on to point saying, be better be vegan. So anybody who isn't vegan is just a complete and utter douchebag. We should forget about them. They're never, they're, they're never going to live. You know her dog? If you ever ever seen uh, that vegan teacher, she has a dog. I think it's called Bella or something. I, I, I have no idea. But she, um, her, her dog is a vegan. Why? Dogs have canines. They have. They have. Does we have canines? They are. Dogs have canines. Most. I think. Yeah. They. They have more canines than humans. And what are they designed to do? Chew meat. They're designed to chew meat. And what does she do? She gives a dog freaking vegetables. That's not bad. That it can happen. But they need mostly meat. That's how they survive. It's called protein. We need protein to survive. And she goes. She to prove our point. She goes on to say that, you know, like, she says, I mean, I know, I know this person, not personally, but I have subscribed, great guy. She says that nothing dazzling about Daz Games. I know Daz Games, not personally, but Daz Games is an awesome YouTuber, great guy, subscribe to him, if you haven't already. But she, um, she says that why, I, asked, I actually checked out the full length of that video, and it's bloody boring. But, I'll, link's in the description for the video, by the way. She, she goes on to say that, why do you think the giraffes are so tall? Because they're vegan. Why are rhinos so big and muscly? Because they're vegan. Nothing, forget genetics, for, forget adaptations, forget, forget all that. It's all because they're vegan. All because they're vegan. Do you know what I'd like to say? Why is a rabbit not the size of a freaking building? Huh? Why, why are they not the size of a building? Why are they not the size? Of the of the Mount Everest. Why then? Why are they not the size of Mount Everest? Just saying. Why are they not the size of Mount freaking Everest? They're not, and they don't eat meat. But she she is so inconsistent. I th I've been on so many like me like the media. I've been all over the media, and they've no vegan. I mean, every, I mean, I'm pretty sure some vegans are annoyed by her because, you know, she's she just be like, leave us alone. Leave us alone. We're not forcing anybody to be vegan, okay? Just leave us alone. But this girl, this lady, seems to be forcing everybody, saying you're a douchebag, you're, you're nothing. You're pretty much nothing. It's not exactly what she said, but it's something, it's pretty much the same concept that she's saying, forget all that, forget it. You should be vegan, end of. People have fought for their lives for this. People have fought years. You ever heard of World War II? People have fought for rights. People have fought, well, mostly, probably, well, yeah, mostly rights. But I think, uh, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not gonna go into too, too much depth into World War II and World War I. But she, she brings it up in that video. She brings it up and apparently she compares World War II to being vegan. <laughs> yeah, I know <laughs> Like honestly, I think in my opinion no one should force anyone to be vegan or no one should be forced You shouldn't force anyone to do anything Like it's you you are you and you are beautiful but Stop forcing people to just be something they're not. It's, it's not good. It's not it's not nice It's inconsistent. It's repetitive 
and it's just being a douchehead. I'm sorry, I'm gonna blow that out, but I'm sorry, but it's it's. I've been watching this guy, this lady, for a long time. Okay, but she she just keeps. She even she freaking even made a video about who would you rather have that with. If, even in saying what the hell, like she goes on to say, right. She goes on to say that, sorry about that, that was a bit, you know, it was just, it was going all over the, my, my, my recording was good, she's going all over the place, but she, she has, um, like I said, she, she forces people, she does everything people don't want them to be, and it's just really weird why she acts like this. And just to show, so I'm going to show you some clips in a minute. The first one being TikTok today, Thursday, December 20, 2020. That was just last month. Dis, dis like the the dislike ratio is kind of off putting. But I'm just gonna show you the video, and you will clearly see my point. I'm not gonna show just one, but we're gonna show multiple just to prove my point. No, nope, not there. It's not where you want it. Where where's the video? There it is. There it is. See the banana? See the freaking banana? Look at that. Look at that banana. Yes, God. I'm trying to deliver your message. I know. I know, but I was just about to turn the camera on, and then the devil came and broke my zipper. What the fuck do I do? Banana. Okay. It's a phone now. Okay, I'll, I'll try. I'll like... try. Hold on. If you want to get to heaven, you better be vegan. If you want to get to heaven, you better be vegan. If you don't believe me, do you want to bet? Hmm? Because God has a message for you, and here it is. Why the fuck aren't you vegan yet? Hmm? You better be vegan. And it continues on from there. Okay. Yeah, it worked. Sort of. I don't know. Okay. Free vegan food? I'm coming right away! So that's just that little clip from that video. Bear in mind, it gets worse. <laughs> it gets worse. <laughs> it gets worse. She forces everyone to be vegan. Well, I've said that like three times. And that, like, that's her main purpose on YouTube and TikTok. Interview with nine-year-old vegan activist Katie and nine-year-old hero Goofy. Well, I can't read. Let's look at this. Eat your vegetables. <laughs> well, that's something to look at in it. Something to look at. Don't even know why I'm bothering. Okay. Oh yeah, she, she. I. This is a funny part. She even can. She. She tells Donald Trump to be vegan. And what's her microphone? Yeah, a banana. Why the fuck aren't you vegan yet, Mr. President Trump? Ooh. Is it because you're stuck on the toilet trying hard to push out a dump? <clears throat> when you become an ethical vegan, I guarantee you woo, 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 you'll no longer be full of poo. And that's when I'll vote for you. Oh, don't stroke that. No. Stop it. Why do I feel like every single time I watch that, she's flirting with Donald Trump? Don't do that. <laughs> the frick is wrong with you, woman. And just to prove my point about she saying that giraffes are vegan, that's the reasoning for their long necks. Here is a video called, well, she responds to Daz Games. How, where is it? Oh, here we go. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so let's have a look at the comment section and see how, you know, how bright and enlightened his audience is. He is, actually. Oh, she's acting like animals don't eat each other. 
No, I'm not. I've said it over and over. Some animals eat other animals. So do we! We are omnivores! What do we have in our gums? Canines! What are they designed to do to me? And it's, I'd honestly, honestly, I'd love her to go in front of a grizzly bear and just stand there, see what it does. Carnivore, you're telling a carnivore, part carnivores, I'm pretty sure she doesn't even know what a carnivore is or an omnivore, because that's what humans are. I mean, vegans, they're literally herbivores because they don't eat meat, but us eat meaters, we are omnivores. We eat lettuce, we eat salad, we eat meat. I like a bit of meat in my diet. It's called protein, love. Protein. Do you know what that is? It's called meat. And if you want to be healthy, like top of the range healthy, you kind of need to eat the meat, but it's fine if you don't. It's fine if you don't want to eat the meat, but you, I'm just going to play the clip. Because I want you guys to see how much she really knows about genetics and animals about adaptations. But buffalo, who are among the strongest animals, and elephants? Please enlighten me. Do you ever me. wonder how they get to be so big? Enlighten me. <laughs> they don't eat other animals. I wonder why. Oh, giraffes get so tall. I want enlighten me. All they do is eat leaves. Oh really? Really? That all they do is eat leaves? Do you know why they don't eat meat? I'm I'm about to just get some groundbreaking stuff here, guys. You're gonna put this on a channel news. They're herbivores. That vegan vegan teacher. They're called herbivores. Do you know what a herbivore is? It eat leaves. Just like you described. They eat leaves. Herbivores. Carnivores, they eat meat. Omnivores, they eat both. We are omnivores equally. We eat salad and meat. We eat lettuce. We enjoy it. We enjoy all the things we have in our body. <laughs> she, she even brings up World War II. LBT. And other stuff comparing it to being vegan. Come on, man. Maybe. Maybe I'm right. No, you're not. You're not. You're not! <laughs> You're really not! Anacondas eat people! Anacondas eat things! Animals! They don't eat leaves, yet they're not the side of a freaking building! They're actually bigger than a rabbit! They're becoming big! That's why they're called anacondas! Anacondas, they can grow up to being, what, 30 feet? Or 29? I can't remember what the biggest snake anaconda in the world was, I think it was like near 30 feet. But that is bigger in length than a rabbit that doesn't eat meat <laughs> please try and understand that vegan teacher that you're wrong these animals don't eat leaves because they're vegan it's because it's adaptation genetics genes whatever you want to call it need to eat animals to get strong and big um you ever heard of arnold schwarzenegger you know the terminator how, he even does a, he, he made, well I, th I don't think he made it, but he, there's like a documentary on YouTube about how he got so big and muscly. Guess what? He says, I eat a lot of meat. Go check it out with that vegan teacher, honestly, go check it out. It's literally there. He says he eats a lot of meat. That's why he's the size of the Incredible Hulk. I am right. You're not right. So, that's not an excuse. It is. It really is. Stop it! Stop forcing people! You're not really doing anything. Killing is part of the world. That, if we didn't have killing, God only knows what we'd have. We'd bloody have snakes coming up into us and say, Hi there, how you doing, hey, little human? I'm just gonna go with the Eli Leaf over there. No! Genetics, love. Genetics, adaptation, genes. We have them. And canines. Bella. Actually, not no. Let's, let's have a little look at Bella. I, th I think her name is, but I'm so sure it's Bella. And look at this. Cow's milk is for baby cows. Where's your cereal? <laughs> or whatever you eat for breakfast. Billie Eilish censored in TikTok. What? I've never seen this one before. What? Shall we see if I can do it again? I very much doubt it, but I shall try. Doubt it, but I shall try. God, get out of my face, woman.
Whoa! What are you doing? Don't put that thing in your mouth. Guys, she's no longer vegan. She's eating wood. She's... She's eating wood or metal. She's eating metal. I think that's metal. She's eating metal. Why? What, what are you proving, woman? What are you doing? Why are you doing that? Go vegan. Right, I'm done with this woman. Go vegan. Sure. Guys, enlighten me. Eat, eat a freaking ukulele and there you go, you're vegan. Jesus Christ. Alright, you know what? That's the end of today's lesson. I don't, I'm too tired and I'm losing, like, I'm losing brain cells by listening to this woman. If you have anybody else you want me to react to, put it down in the comments and I'll have a little look. But today, I'm ending, I'm ending the video. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in two weeks. I've just been up to some stuff. Not too much going into detail, but, um, yeah. Have a good day. <laughs>